Hi, my name is Helena. You may have seen the new change visual expression we released, but today we just built it inside of the editor so it's much easier to use. And I'll show you what it looks like. In this example, we'll change this already really cute face of the kid into a really happy, surprised, and hopeful face on the right. And we would also put a little fairy there. So to go into the feature, we just click face. And now we'll see all these things. And now we'll see all these control bars. Don't get overwhelmed by it. We can quickly start with one of the presets to one click make the kid say happy. Or we can make him frown. And for demo sake, I will show you all of the presets we have right now. We might add more presets, so if you found anything to work really well for you, if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments and we'll add them. Here we have him winking, sleepy, surprised, or looking away. And let's actually start working with the looking away preset. We'll see we have three sections, the head, the mouth, and the eyes. Now we're gonna bring his eyes a bit back to the left. There are three ways you can do this. You can click somewhere on the bar, you can drag this like this, or you can enter a different number and click enter. And let's also make him happier. All right, we gotta open the mouth a little more, maybe even more. And I'm thinking for it to look more natural, these super specific things are different for each image, so you may have to play around to get it more natural. I brought back the original picture so we can see the before and after. Now we're gonna expand this picture a little. Let's make it stay square. That looks good. All right, I made a bunch. This is hilarious. Like, what is this random shit? But I quite like this one, so let's add it to the canvas. And now it's as if he's looking at something right here. Let's try blend layers. And I'm going to add an image of this fairy. Now we have this image. It already looks pretty natural without blending it with AI. But you can always hit blend to see what we can get. I like this, so I'm going to just save it. And there we have our board. Nice. With that, let's now go back to the facial expression and dive into each of these things. Let's go through the presets first. Now let's go back to the original. Let's do the head first. We have the vertical direction. Make the head go up or down. Okay, I think we went to down. Turn the head horizontally. Let's go to the right, left, and we can also tilt it like this. So one fun thing you can do is to combine the horizontal direction and the side direction to make somebody look confused and curious like, huh? huh? Now we're on to the mouth. We can make her a smile or frown. We can make her open the mouth more or less, but I'm gonna keep it there. And we can also adjust the roundness so all the way to the flattest or more round. Oh, and I think I skipped width accidentally. Let's make it wider. And onto the eyes, we can make somebody blink. We can change the eye directions of where she's looking at horizontally or vertically. For vertical, if I like it a little more down, I think I'm going to keep it a bit more down. And also the eyebrow position. This might not look like a critical one at first, but it really helps you make the entire face look natural. Finally, we can make her weak. That's funny, okay. Now we're bringing it back. And then if somebody helps put a question mark right here, it becomes the confused cat meme. Huh? Alright, so that's the face feature. I didn't want to use any real people's faces to demo because we're on the official open art account. But you should definitely try it out. It works really well for realistic people pictures. I've been pranking my friends. It's really fun. But of course, it's most useful when you have a character and you want to make them do different facial expressions so you can put them in different scenes. I think this is a huge step towards real character consistency so let's stay tuned and see what's next if you want to use flux open is giving all users 20 flux images for free every day and there's also dali 3 stable diffusion 3 colors and a bunch of other great models we're so happy about the flux launch this is what we like to see they're all really great models and they have like different personalities if you haven't seen part one of the video make sure to check out the great example
examples there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I put all useful links under the video in the description. Have fun creating.